So my gudgeons are back at it again. They have laid eggs. I do have some snails in this tank which have been eating the eggs. So I am currently making a grow out pan. I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna cap each end with my fingers, pull that out, keep the male in there for three days, and then take the male out and let them hatch. And I have some vinegar eels that I'm gonna put in there to feed them. Now currently, I have plants in here to help keep the water good, but I'm also gonna put a little air stone and that should keep the water oxygenated. I don't have a filter for this, but um, the plants should take that load of uh, ammonia out. So I just transported the tube into here. There was a snail in there. He was in the very end, a little one. I was able to get him out. So I'm gonna move this over to my desk and put the air stone in it and in a couple days I will take the mail out tip the PVC tube just a little bit and slowly feed the air to one end and that will create enough flow through there so that the eggs don't go bad so here we are the peacock gudgeon male is in the tube he fans the eggs to keep them from getting fungus. But after a few days, you have to take him out or else he will start eating the eggs. So after I take him out, like I said, I'll prop that up with the air stone at the end, letting the air bubbles go through the stone and he sh they should hatch within a few days after that. They will be very tiny and I have a culture of vinegar eels that I can feed him them the eggs well the fry at that point they do eat off their you know, uh, egg sac and get quite a bit of nutrients from that but once that's gone I'll have to be feeding vinegar eels for a while until they can take baby brine and then I'll put them I'll probably leave them in here for a little bit and then move them back to a bigger tank <laughs> 